Sunday, it's raining, and I decided I'm going to make one more of my how-to videos. This time I'm going to help all the hermit crab owners out in the world. My wife loves hermit crabs, and we got her five a while back, and we're now up to eight. And these little guys just love to run around in their tank, but they love seawater, salt water, uh, however you want to put it. We are about 40 minutes from the ocean, so it's impossible for us to just get in a car and go drive to get some salt water. Plus, if you buy, if you get a bunch of salt water from the ocean, it eventually will go bad because just sitting around it, it destabilizes or does all sorts of weird things. So you want to make little bits of salt water from time to time. We went to a local pet store, and you could get a little bottle like this for about five dollars, which is ridiculous. So what I decided to do is I was going to find a way to make salt water. Now everybody would think it's simple. Take water, add salt. No. There's a special density to salt water, and if you want salt water that's just like from the ocean, you have to follow a specific formula. I searched high and low, and nobody knew what the heck I was talking about. You would think with the internet it would be out there. I finally found one site where one guy was talking about salt water, and he's a professor in some college up north. He actually broke it down how to make specific salt water that has the same density as the salt water from the ocean. And I got his formula. I wish I remembered his name so I could give him credit, but I'll take the credit since I'm making it now. What you need is very simple. Water. Just plain old regular water from the tap. Some sort of a measuring device. This one is perfect because it measures in ounces. And what I'm going to show you is how to make ounces. Or use the formula with ounces. You need to go to the store and get yourself this little can of coarse sea salt. Uh, this little guy is about three bucks. And you can make 25 to 30 uh, mixtures of salt water. You need something to mix it all in, something to stir it all in, and then something to put it in. And what I've found is these little Powerade bottles are perfect. They're 32 ounces, you're going to be making 34 ounces, so there'll be a little bit left over. And then what I like to do is I like to put a little bit in this little spray bottle and then attack my crabs. And they seem to love it. They love the salt water. Now, the formula. I will also put it on the bottom for those of you that want to look at it. Um, he broke it down into grams and liters. He, I wrote it down in this bottle, by the way. That's why I'm looking at it. 35 grams of salt. And when I say salt, I'm talking about sea salt. To one liter of fresh water. Now, 35 grams is going to break down to 1.23 ounces. Okay? And one liter is going to break down to 33.814 ounces, or let's just call it 34 for the sake of rounding it off. Now, the first thing we're going to do is 1.23 ounces of salt. This only goes in ounces, so I'm going to do one ounce. I'm just going to pour it in there. And just go a little bit over the one ounce. Not quite to two ounces. Pour it in my bowl here, or in my pitcher. Now, there we go. I need 34 ounces of water. Plain old water. The maximum that this goes to is 13 ounces, so I'm going to double that. That's 26, and then add 7. That will give me 34. Another 13. And then 7. Here is the most important part. If you look in your bowl, you're going to see all the salt sitting in the bottom. You don't have salt water yet. You just have water with salt sitting on the bottom. You have got to stir it vigorously. And what you're doing is, is you're getting the salt to break up and be absorbed by the water. Stir it around for a while. It'll take about a minute. Swish it around, change it, do whatever. But the key ingredient here is when you look down into your pitcher, I see a bunch of crystallized salt down there. If you see salt, you're not done. Keep stirring it. Sing a song. Do whatever. I'm stirring my salt into my water to make my wife's crabs happy. That does not sound right at all. Almost done. And I guarantee you, there have been people, questions like, can you make seawater? 
and a lot of the pet companies have put their little spies out on the internet, and they say stuff like, don't make seawater by hand, you will kill your crabs. We've been doing this for about four or five months. Crabs are as happy as can be. Haven't lost a single one. And now, if I look down there, I see that my water, my salt has, it's gone, it's dissipated. It's into the water. If you just want to try it, just to be weird, go ahead and give it a taste. And if you've ever been in the ocean, you're going to recognize that taste. Next, just pour it into your little container. So I'm just going to pour it into my little spectrum bottle. And finish it off in there. There you go. You have got yourself genuine seawater for your crabs. Now let's go take them in, spray these little guys, give them some water, and watch what happens. Here we are at my wife's little crabitarium, and you can see all the little guys are along the bottom. It's pretty much early in the day, so they don't like to do much during the day, but damn it, at night they like to do all sorts of things. They'll climb up at the top of the stick and then jump down into the glass. It makes it sound like they're breaking through. Here's our salt water, and you can see one of the little guys is sitting right there in the tank. He saw me coming, and he's all happy. So what we're going to do is just take the salt water and just pour it in there. Now the substrate is what they like to bury themselves into. Do not worry if you overspill it. The substrate loves to absorb the seawater. He's in there. He's all happy. Now one of the other things that you can do to make them even more happy is just Put some salt water in a regular spray bottle, and then just go in there and attack your crabs. They like to be soaked in this stuff. This also helps your humidity go up, because this stuff loves... They love humidity. So the more moisture that's in there, the happier they are. And that's how you can make your seawater for a fraction of the cost of what you can buy at Petco or any other pet supply store. Again, my formula, or actually, I don't remember this guy's name, but he gets all the credit because he's the one that actually sat down and figured it out. 35 grams of sea salt, which is 1.23 ounces, to 1 liter, which is 33.8, 34 ounces of regular old plain fresh water. Stir it in there, mix it until the salt absorbs into the water. And you've got yourself, honest to goodness, sea salt or sea water. See that little guy right there? He's all happy now. He's in the sea. He's in the sea world. We've got some hiding back there. And one guy over here. Hope that helps you guys out.